Sarah. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be going through another trunk club that I got and the last one was good. There was definitely a mixture of things. I think the most, I guess, impressive thing I like about trunk club is the brands that they carry. Things that I would never have tried probably because of the price, um, but just I don't know, other other types of qu the quality, things like that, um, that I think I really enjoy about it. We'll see how this one goes. I think I had told her in my little box for comments, like I want some fall stuff or something like that. So we'll see what she sent me um, and let's get started. So Trunk Club is from Nordstrom and there is a $25 styling fee, but anything you keep that $25 does get applied to it. So I always keep that in mind as I'm unboxing and trying things on is that I have $25 to spend. So either pick one item or if I really just don't like anything then I won't get anything at all. So Nordstrom comes, um, or Trunk Club comes in a great big box. I love it. It's great to ship. It's great to receive. Um, they come with these little sticky tabs to put on after for um, your return. They also have a return uh, sticker as well. And then they also have their little printout of the prices and things like that. There's also a letter from my stylist, but this one looks extremely generated and it's like two sentences long and it doesn't say who it's from. So that makes me a little worried that maybe a random, I don't know, randomly they just put this box together. So I do know I had a quick preview of the items on there. I always forget though what is coming or not. Um, but I do know one interesting thing was when they, when I approved everything, they, I then got an email back like the next day saying, oh, one of the items is actually out of stock, so you're just not going to get it. So I think I am one item down this time. I should only have nine. I don't see anything new that they would have sent me in this box. But yeah, so the next thing I think that I don't really enjoy about Trunk Club, though, is they individually package everything. And I'm not kidding you, this box probably took me about 10 minutes to unpack they sent me a lot of shoes this time and things like that, but everything's individually bagged. The boxes of shoes are like wrapped with elastic bands and then they're all individually wrapped. So you have to take everything out to be able to put the shoes on. So it took me some time. Let's just say that. So um, let's just jump in and get started. I am excited to see what they sent me and hopefully there'll be like one or two items that I'll want, um, but hopefully everything fits me. That's the most important thing. So. Let's get started. Okay, so the first item I have pulled out of the box is a blue tank top. It says it's by Carl Carlson, Carlson, and it's a blue and it's in large. It says it's normally $19 on the tag. Um, on my little printout though, I guess they're having a sale because this is only $13.30. It is very soft. So as you can see in the video, it does fit very well. It's super soft. Um, I really I really did enjoy wearing it. For $13.30, it's really not a bad price. I think you end up paying that, I don't know, at like I think you pay more even at like a loft and stuff like that. So um, it is soft. The blue, I actually don't have a blue tank top. I don't really wear tank tops that much, but I like the wide straps on this. And again, I'm in the south. It's super hot still. So this actually might be an item I will keep, especially for only $13.30. It um, fit well, and I feel like I could match this definitely with a pair of pants or also with shorts. And I could wear this all the time, I feel like. So this is probably going to go into the yes pile. Okay, so next out of the box is a pair of jeans. And if I believe correctly, this is the only pair of pants or anything like that that I got in this box. So hopefully they fit me. Um, these look like they are a dark wash. And they are from Madewell. They are a size 30, which is normally my size. And it says on their tag they're $135, um, which is a lot. <laughs> I've never bought a pair of Madewell jeans uh, because I do know they're expensive. But let's see here. How much are they? They are $135. So there is no sale on these pants. Uh, but I do really like, I do like them. They look like they can be rolled up, which are my favorite things to do. All their pockets are functioning. And they do have a little bit of a stretch to them. They are a skinny leg, it says. 
So as you can see in the video trying them on, they actually did fit, which I really appreciate. At first, it was a little bit of a struggle to get them on over like my calves and stuff and my legs. As you guys have probably seen in my other videos, I am a little bit thicker and muscular down there. So that's why it's hard for me to find pants. Um, but they do fit and I really do like the color of them. Now, I'm not going to lie. I did not know they were $135 because I was actually thinking like, oh, I think I'll buy them. However... I think these are going to be a no simply because of the price. I got several other pair of jeans for my Stitch Fix box and my Wannable box. And those jeans were only like $68. So you can almost get two for the price of this one pair of jeans. I know the quality of Madewell is fantastic. But I have got another pair of jeans. I don't know if I need another pair at the moment. So I think these are going to just go into the no pile. Okay, so next I am actually pulling out a pair of shoes. So one thing I noticed when I was pulling them out, so these are from Steve Madden, and they are actually a mule. But one thing I did notice is there's actually like markings already on the leather. And I don't know if you can see like the, the rubbing on there. And I mean, they were packaged. So I don't know if like maybe they just keep sending these around in all of the trunk club boxes or not. I don't know. But they were marked up before I got them. So that's definitely a little bit concerning for me. Um, but then also to re if I return them, like I don't want to get charged for them. Um, but let's see how much these mules are. So they're like a light cream color. They do feel really nice. Um, and they are from Steve Madden and they are $69.95. So I know that's actually not a bad price, especially for like a leather mule. I really do like mules. They're great for like, I guess, our weather down here where it doesn't get really cold. Um, but obviously when it starts to get a little bit colder, you don't want to keep wearing like your, your sandals everywhere. So I think I've been looking for a pair of these. So you can see they look great on. I think I'm, th the side view of them is a little bit weird because of the way it comes up. Um, and the, the, just the design of it. Uh, they are very comfortable. They, I think they go with everything obviously because of the color. They're super cute. Um, I, I don't know. They're like 70 bucks. I think they're going to go into the maybe pile for me. Okay, so next out of the box is another pair of shoes. And these ones look like a platform. I don't know what you would call these, a wedge, I guess. And they're like a black uh, suede, maybe a felt. Maybe it's called a felt. They do feel super soft. They definitely are squishy on your feet. So my only concern with these, just looking at them right away, is how narrow this walking area is back here. I don't wear, you know, heels a lot. So I feel like I might be a little bit like wobbly in them. <laughs> um, so let's see who these are from. So these are from Betty Mueller Concepts and they are a slide sandal and these are $60. That's actually not a bad price. Um, they feel really nice. I thought they would be a lot more than $60 just because the quality looks really good. So after putting them on, I do really like them, but I was correct. I felt extremely wobbly in them. They just are really narrow on the back heel area where the, the wedge part is and so that that alone makes me not want to buy them, but they are very comfortable. I just don't know how often I would wear them because I just feel very unstable in them. I wish it was maybe like a clunkier feeling on the bottom and then I probably would have really liked them more. But I mean, the price really isn't that bad. So like 60 bucks is not bad. I just don't think I would wear them enough to keep them. So I think these are going to be a no for me. Okay, so next out of the bag, it looks like a larger green so it's a long sleeve I guess blouse maybe um, from Lucky Brand and this is a size large and it has buttons and pockets down the front um, which I like it's very actually very soft um, let's see how much this is. Lucky Brand. So utility pocket cotton button-up shirt, and this is $79.50. 
So it fits perfectly. I really do like how airy it is, especially down here. Um, with our weather, I feel like it'd be very breezy. I actually don't mind the color. I think this greeny color is very fall-like. Um, the one thing I do not like about it is there's no like buttons or anything like that on the cuff of your arms. So like for me, I couldn't roll them up or anything like that. So it was just a long sleeve. Like, I, I, I don't know. I wish it kind of had those buttons that you can kind of make them like a three-quarter sleeve or even shorter. Um, I think that was the only thing I did not like about it. I liked how breezy it was. I liked how it was made and designed. It, like, swooped down my, my butt. And I was able to tuck it into the front, which is, like, my favorite thing to do. I really just did not like how the sleeves did not have those buttons. I think if they had those, I really would have considered this. But it's also almost $80, and that's definitely like a lot for a shirt like that. To me, it's just kind of like basic. Um, so I think I'm gonna say no for this one. Okay, now it's my last pair of shoes, and these are actually boots. And they're super cute, and they're from Mark Fisher. They're a size eight and a half, and there's no zippers or anything like that. They're just a slide in. Sometimes those worry me just because sometimes your foot has to get like the right angle to get in there. Um, I do like how they have this though to start yanking on them. These ones also, I, I don't know. I feel like these also were kind of used because like there's this right there on the bottom. Um, so these Mark Fisher boots are, let's see here. They're the Yale Chelsea boot size eight and a half. And they are $179. I mean, I know they're suede, but $179, especially if I think they've been worn. <laughs> um, that's a lot. So, okay. Then I have them on. They were a little bit of a struggle to get into. Again, I had to maneuver my foot a little bit to like slide them in properly. I think they're just a little too tall for me in the ankle. I like the shorter ones better because I don't know, as you can see, like it was hard even with rolled up jeans to make them like look good. But I also think the jeans would rub off on this color. And so I think you'd get some blue staining around the ankles. So for like $180, I don't really want stains on my boots. Um, but I do like them. They're cute. The pointy toe is something that I'm not used to. Um, but for $180, I can definitely probably find something, maybe not as good quality, but something that would look definitely better, maybe from Target or something, or TJ Maxx, and maybe only pay like 60 bucks. So these are definitely going to be a no. Okay, next out of the box, I have a little brown green blouse. And it's just a little uh, sleeveless blouse. I don't see any buttons or anything like that on the front. Uh, let's see, I don't even know the brand. Let's see what brand this is. It says by Caslon, which, oh. That was also the tank. I thought it was Carlson. It is Caslon, both of those. Um, and this one says it's $39 for this green. I do like this green. It's kind of like a lighter hunter green. Um, for 40 bucks, it's not bad. There's no pockets or anything. So as you can see on though, it fits great and I'm able to tuck it in. It almost feels a little bit too big, but it does seem very breezy. And I don't have anything like this in my wardrobe right now with this color. And I don't know, I actually really do like it because it is simple. It can go with jeans, it could go with like shorts, it could go with leggings probably. Um, so yeah, I actually am really liking this. It is very just basic, but I really do like the feel of it and I really like the color of it. So this is actually gonna go into the yes pile. Okay, so next uh, that I have pulled out of the box is another item from Madewell and this is a cardigan. And this is like a thick knit, like this is pretty heavy. Um, it's like a cream color, it's a size large. And let's see here, it's by Madewell. It's called a bubble cardigan sweater and it is in white. I would definitely say it's more of a cream. And it says it's $98. So it's definitely a little pricey for a cardigan. 
Um, but it is a shorter cardigan because there are pockets, but the arms are significantly longer than like the torso of it. After putting it on, I really do like the quality of it. The knit itself feels like great. It feels heavy, which I like. I just don't like how short the torso is. It actually is a lot shorter than I thought it would be. Um, I like the bubble kind of look of the arms, um, but I just, the torso, I wish it was like maybe equal with the arms um, or a little bit longer, but it's really short. So I feel like my butt would just be like out in the open for everybody to see, or the shirts that I'd be wearing underneath it would be showing out like from the behind part of it. And I don't know, for $98, I did just get some from my Stitch Fix and Wannable boxes that I really like probably a lot more. And I, yeah, I don't know. It looks good. I just don't think I like how short the torso is. It's just not my style. So this is going to be a no for me. Okay, so finally, I have another sweater and it's by Billabong. Oh my gosh. I haven't worn that. I don't know if I've ever worn it, but I remember it was really popular in high school. So this just looks like a regular cream and black long sleeve sweater. It's a pullover, nothing like too fancy. I really am kind of shocked by it being billabong right now. Um, I, yeah, haven't seen any of their stuff in so long. Um, okay, let's see how much billabong is these days. So it says it's a paradise striped sweater, size large, and it is $70. So, I mean, actually it's a little expensive if they're still trying to reach the college crowd or the high school crowd. Maybe that's why I never wore it was because how expensive it was. I just could never afford it. And I know my parents would never give me $70 to buy a sweater if that's how much it was back then. I do like that it's like a thick, a little like more of a knit um, feeling. And it actually fits perfectly. I, I like it. I am surprised actually of the quality of it. I, like I said, haven't tried Billabong before, but the large fits, and I don't know, it's just $70 though, so, and I feel like it's just kind of basic. Um, I get, I get, like, at least back in the day, that's what Billabong was, was for, like, the surfer crowd, maybe, is what I was thinking, um, or the skateboarders, things like that, so I think their stuff was definitely a little bit more plain and basic, but this is definitely, for $70, bucks. it's just a little bit too basic for me. Okay, so after unboxing all of this stuff, I'm going to say I'm a little disappointed. I do feel like maybe I didn't actually have like a quote unquote stylist this time. Um, I mean, everything was fine. Nothing really just wowed me though, if that makes sense. I think the only things I'm debating about keeping is going to be the two tanks um, and the, the tank and the blouse from the cast lawn. I don't know, everything else was either too expensive or it looked used, <laughs> um, or I just didn't see a need for it. It was like a little bit too basic. So I wanted to use these boxes to push me out of my comfort zone. So I guess I'm a little like meh, because I feel like they didn't push me out of my comfort zone at all. So uh, I don't know. I don't know how I'm feeling about this. I'm a little bit disappointed this month, but I'm... Um, I guess another thing with it is there is no like discount if you buy a certain number of items like with the Wannable and Stitch Fix boxes. So really what you get is what you get. Um, so I don't know. I think I'll get maybe like one to two pieces from it, but hopefully my next box will be better. Um, but thank you for stopping in and seeing me unbox my Trunk Club box. And hopefully I will see you guys again soon. <laughs> Bye.